This week, uh, yeah. the Justice Department, the inspect Justice Department inspector, the Justice Department Inspector General, sorry, <laughs> Michael go. Horowitz. So many vowels. There's lots uh. of titles. What's going on? released a report looking at the FBI's investigation of President Trump's campaign. Okay, He was questioned about the report in a Senate hearing yesterday. Listen to <laughs> some of the leftist shows. And I, I've been listening to, uh, obviously, the Young Turks, Pod Save America, Reading Up at Vox, and so on. <laughs> They're going to try and spin this as some minor procedural errors made by low-level FBI employees. That's yeah. kind of the story that's been going out there. And I encourage you to go and read and watch further left sources, because that is kind of the narrative yeah. that they've mm -hmm. said. Let's Very move on to <laughs> another claim, which I think is, you guys may remember this, but there were a lot of claims made, and it, it, it's kind of silly mm -hmm. that we have to go back to this, but this is actually very important because of, I don't know if this is effectively falsified. We'll get some information that, to me, I'm not, a I'm not a lawyer. We have a lawyer seems falsified. But the context of this seems at the very least deliberately misleading some claims that people made regarding the infamous Russian mm. peeing tape. He, he, in case, just to summarize there, Comey was saying that it was his duty to brief the president about the pee tape and then claims that it very, he thought it very well mm. may have been true. Let Gosh. me explain this very clearly. The FBI not only knew that the story had zero corroboration, they knew that it was in fact a joke. The FBI interviewed Steele's source and asked him to corroborate the story, but the source, and I have a quote here, explained that his or her information came from word of mouth and hearsay, another quote, conversation that he or she had with friends over beers and that some of the information, such as allegations about Trump's sexual activities, were statements he or she heard made in jest. Oh my gosh. Think of that for a second. All you needed to do was make a joke. And if it, if it reflected badly enough on President Trump, the FBI would purposefully misrepresent it as though it was a credible allegation all the way up to the director of the entire FBI who would then brief the president <laughs> himself uh, on it. The more information that comes out, the worse it is for Democrats. That is yeah. a consistent through line here. Every because I will say time. this, we've often said like, there's probably a kernel of truth to it. I thought maybe there were Russian prostitutes peeing in a in a Trump hotel and he knew about it and said, uh, you know, they like the water sports. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out n there isn't a kernel of truth at all. It was oh entirely gosh. made up from a joke. The truth is worse than the very little leeway we were willing to give. <laughs> I'd oh say scraping God. the bottom of the barrel, but it's a bottomless barrel. You're just like, you're, you're way down into the dirt and you're looking up going, is that the f barrel I was <laughs> scraping through? <laughs> didn't even know about the Steele dossier, right? The Obama administration, th th this is important to note. They all knew about the Steele dossier. Hmm. It was actually included as an appendix in the assessment <laughs> itself. Not only did they give the Steele dossier credit, it practically wrote the foreword. <laughs> Even further than that, by the way, uh. Comey and McCabe fought to have it play an even more central role in the assessment, hmm. proactively. So I want to be clear. I mean, I don't know at what point lying yeah. Yeah. constitutes yeah. A, a crime. <laughs> yeah. But OK, so this is pretty important. And, and let me know if it's a little confusing. And maybe, Bill, you can help clarify, because yeah. it's confusing for me sometimes. And I work in this <laughs> industry. Right. The FBI created fraudulent evidence to obtain the warrant. I know Bill's going to say, well, hold on, because I'm making a claim here. I believe that I can make that claim and substantiate it. Just pause, or if you don't have the time, fast forward four seconds. Carter Page, okay, was actually acting as an informant for the CIA during these uh, Russia meetings, okay? The FBI knew that. Right. So to be clear, the FBI omitted that information from the FISA applications and even used Carter's connection to those Russian contacts as evidence against him. Think of that for a second. They knew. So it's like, OK, go out there. You're going to have contacts. You're going to be an informant yeah. working with the Russians. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we're going to hang you out to the dry and say, look, yeah. look, there's an informant with the Russians. Yeah, yeah. So here's why I w there. am saying this definitively that they create that they falsified information here. The FBI emailed the CIA to check if Page was working with them, okay? They confirmed that Page was a source, that it that Page was a source. Mm -hmm. But an FBI lawyer, and then I want to go to my lawyer, he's a lawyer, an FBI lawyer actually altered the text of the email to say he was not a source. To be clear, okay? It said was a source initially. Huh. FBI mm -hmm. lawyer changed the text to read not a source. Uh, not a source. By the way, <laughs> lawyer now under a criminal investigation. Oh. How oh, they, far they does go. that go, half Asian lawyer? But can I make the claim that that is falsifying evidence, changing the word yes to no? I mean, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Good. Wow, that that was so well, quick. It, 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 I don't run a run point, a fall of YouTube's but, but, policies. But here again, here again is the thing: is how are they going to try and spin this and say, yeah. you know, oh, it was just a mistake. Oh, you know, it's just a low, low level lawyer for the FBI. <laughs> right. you know, I it's accidentally just an intern. hit the delete button for S A W, and then for some, I accidentally typed in N O T. 
Hmm. Oh. I don't know. I spilled coffee in the keyboard. I don't know wow. what happened. Yeah, it's a common crazy. issue. That's the last time I use yeah. a Dell. <laughs> <laughs> gateway. I mean, only Gateway. Yeah. Oh, is it, is yeah. Gateway still around? No, nope. no. That's why no. it's funny. No, seriously, he's under criminal investigation, and I understand the optics. There's the court of public opinion, but. This is a lie. This is a lie. This seems like this, it would be something that could be prosecuted. These are the types of things where you know we call it the fruit of the poisonous tree as a legal term, right? If you in, in the common parlance of like the Fourth Amendment and other constitutional issues, you have to establish that if early in the chain of creating evidence or taking certain action by the government, the government takes wrong action, right. then the rest of the information that comes from that, the fruit of the poisonous tree, is now poisoned as well, right? It's right, tainted. Yeah. And here, when you when you look at Comey, Comey understood the problem with that. That's why back in December of 2018, he's saying. No, 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 don't worry. The tree is not poisoned. Everything's great. We fertilized it with yeah. great stuff, except they fertilized it with bullshit. Right. And that's the problem. <laughs> and mean, then Eve tried to eat from it. It again. was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> over and over and over. Be Eve. <laughs> These inexplicable errors, or at least they haven't been explained yet, all occur going up to the very top of the organization. Was it just a sloppy investigation? Or do all of these errors... It could just be a sloppy investigation, except when you account for the fact here that all of the errors tilt in a certain direction, mm. one that's anti-President Trump. Can you, let me ask you this, can you find anything to the contrary in the last six months? Do you remember, remember like you were to go back to what you were saying, remember the outrage over Barr's review of yeah. the Mueller report? People demanded that he be ousted for his conclusion obtained from the totality of information available. They saw that as corruption at the highest level possible, but what about all of these missteps or sometimes deliberate inaccuracies in the most powerful bureaus of government. Nothing? And again, I think what's most important here is every time we get more information, it gets worse for the Democrats right now in this whole, these impeachment proceedings. Yeah. That's why I think they're handing Donald Trump the election. I wish this weren't going on because I think it makes a mockery of our, of, yeah. of our entire, not only judicial system, but the entire system of American government. Schoolhouse Rock should be rolling over in its grave right now. <laughs> this is absolutely oh. unreal to me. But like you talked about with the IRS uh, investigating people, the IRS being yeah. used as a tool from Barack Obama to yeah. audit conservatives. Yeah. Here's one thing too that I think, because you can audit a ham sandwich, right? That's the old kind of adage people say. Yeah. You can audit a ham sandwich and find something wrong. And that's kind of true. They just There was a story, someone just lost his home because he was $8 under yeah. on property taxes, right? That's scary to everybody where you go, well, there's a certain amount of power where the government can find something that you've done oh, wrong. Yeah. Here's why to, yeah. this is scary though, because if they don't find something that you've done wrong, they will make it up. Whether it's Russian pissing prostitutes or changing from did know about the Steele dossier to did not know about the Steele dossier. This has gone beyond someone making a mistake and a political enemy capitalizing on it. This has gone to the most powerful wings of government, arguably, in Washington, D.C., now deliberately fabricating or misleading investigations for reasons of political expediency. It is terrifying, and it sets a terrifying precedent that we should all be concerned